all day. <laughs> 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 Don't do it on camera now. <laughs> Can we go go around and get the names of each person? Great. Kevin. Matt. Austin. Sean Wilson. Lauren. Lauren. Nikki. Nick. <laughs> Tim. Chris. Right. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't get you. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm Nick, and this is also Nick. And we're going to be your moderators for this focus group and uh, we're just going to start off with like a little icebreaker question. All right, so if you guys had uh, a limitless budget, where would you guys vacation? Maldives. Italy. 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 And then why? why? Yeah. yeah. And why? Uh, because my mom's side's from Italy and they always talk about it, so oh. I hear great things about the place, so it makes me want to go to the destination. Oh. I would go to New Zealand. Um, has really good scheme and has a very lavish lifestyle with the little banking scene there. Yeah. Um, I guess I'd probably go to Monaco, just because <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Monaco is probably like the most beautiful like uh, resort slash port there is in the world. So probably don't want to be doing some big spending down there. Monaco is sick. I'd go to Australia and scuba dive the Great Barrier Reef all all the time. I would go to Spain because I really want to go there. And there's lots of culture and things to do. Um, Maldives, it's just tropical. And um, yeah, the, yeah, there's a bunch of little islands. Uh, Australia also for the waves and the uh, lifestyle. Um, probably Germany just because my family's from there. And Oktoberfest would be so. I go to Belize. <laughs> Tropical, get away from it all. Let's for a while. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our first question, and uh, feel free to fill in whenever you want to talk. Um, we want to know how would you define a pre professional sales position in your own words? Anybody? I guess a position that you would be. Your main job would be to sell things, and your I guess your salary would be based on how well you did. Okay. Solving the problems of the end user with whatever you have to offer. A lot of finding customers. Developing a network of people. Selling a product in the right demographics where the consumer is going to buy the product from you. And, yeah. Say, demonstrating. Uh, oh. Go for it. Um, demonstrating the. Features, advantages, and benefits of the products. I mean, I think it's not like not only you know just within. I mean, talking about consumers, but also like personal, like the salesperson themselves. Like you kind of have to be a certain person in order to sell certain products. It's kind of like you kind of have to personalize yourself with the customer that you're trying to segment, and like it's it's kind of on a personal basis. You got to be like your own seller. So I feel like you're you gotta like really like what you're selling on like a product basis, I guess. So building relationships. Yeah. Because you need to like keep in contact with people you're selling to, make them happy, and like keep them in your company. Right. The professional so. sales like. Mostly, like, what you want to do, I guess, is make, I mean, I want to make commission, I guess, when you want to sell. I mean, that's part, that's part of professional sales, I think. And it's, uh, I don't know, commission, like, with the salary is probably, like, where you want to go. And then commission, you got to, like, be, like, a really good salesperson, I guess. Okay. All right. Uh, what are you guys' personal attitudes towards the sales position? If you Positive. have to take a job in a sales position. Positive or negative, negative. and why? I just got done interviewing with a sales position job from Aerotech, and I didn't accept their offer because um, there's too much work and not enough money, and it's all commission. It's like 35000 starting and 8000 uh, commission and uh, 35000 base. That's what a recruiting company, right? It recruits people yeah. for like, different companies and stuff? Yeah, and uh, just like 60 hours a week, 55 hour a week, and it's like just if you want to run yourself into the ground for the next two years, yeah, that's cool. But they tell you that like when you like, keep on doing good at sales and stuff, you move in. To a manager. They, they, they say like you move fast through the chain. It's kind of like, yeah. you know, just... Yeah you, yeah, you work up to like an account. But do you really want to stick with that business like the whole time doing sales for that yeah. one company? That's where, it, that's where it kind of gets you because once you start in that company, then you're just going to 
keep on going through that company and then you'd be stuck there, I guess, if you want to keep on making big money, unless you want to pursue something else. Yeah, that's true. But I also, I think it depends on what company you're like applying for and like how they treat their salespeople because I've heard feedback from other people like sales positions can be like a high like you know starting rate or yeah or they're not doing that much work they're just sitting around in a car calling people all day you know like it, I feel like it's in yeah, both ways yeah yeah like pharmaceutical sales like you yeah you make bank money. and yeah. yeah what do you think Nick? I would say positive I enjoy sales um, just because my personality um, the challenge of it but it all depends on what you're selling you have to enjoy what you're selling and have the aggressive kind of nature you kind of create your own business and sales so if you just want to punch the clock it's not your kind of gig but if you like creating a uh, salary then it's good for you Does anyone else have a positive attitude towards it i have a positive attitude i want to get into sales and um <coughs> like my whole family's i've grown up around it and i just i just like the freedom of it you can kind of set your own hours and put in what you want to get out of it so I think it definitely depends on what you're selling though, because uh, I had a job last summer from Northwestern Mutual. I'm sure you guys like heard them recruiting and everything. And um, the way they were trying to get sales was by playing on customer emotion or consumer emotions. Um, and it was just felt dirty doing it. Didn't like it at all. Um, pretty much have to make people realize they're gonna die and what are they gonna leave you know um, behind for their kids and stuff. I just didn't like those conversations. So if you have something positive, I guess that you're selling. And that you're passionate about, fine. But if it's something that's uh, you know, not fun to talk about, I think it's a lot harder to do. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on how they treat their customers, or how they want you to treat your potential customers. I have a positive outlook on it because my dad's been in sales since I was a little kid, and he's opened his own store in Hayward. And you have you have to know the product and believe in the product, and knowing you know where you know the customers are at, but you also have to have the personality of building the special connections where you're selling the product, you know, and having your own furniture, you know, you have a furniture lines, so you can set your own hours like Lauren said, and you do, you know, your certain hours and, and you, you know, sell the product to a uh, you know, salesman, so I think that, you know, it's a positive outlook as long as you have the special connections and you're an outgoing person. Okay, thanks. Um, the next question. If you were offered a sales position after you graduate, uh, what would it have to include? Salary? Uh, you gotta need to interrupt the future reference. You can't have food here. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see anything. All right. Thank you. This isn't food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sorry. Uh, if you were offered a sales position after graduating, what would it have to include? Benefit, salary, etc. cetera? I would want a base salary with probably commission and ideally as far as like benefits for home and health insurance you're probably not going to get that out of college unless you're really an outstanding person so you have to kind of get that with time with where you work but probably just sell the commission what would you say an outstanding person would be i mean depending on if you have previous sales experience uh what you're involved in in college what you know what kind of connections you have also I mean, it all depends your gpa all that kind of stuff. The stuff that goes on your resume. What do you think, Matt? I would say definitely no cap on commissions because that um, it's just not going to make you work as hard as you did it. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say a, a base of like at least 50000 Like, But see, I have a negative outlook on sales, so it's a my what I need to get into it would be higher. So like I need a base of like 50 and uh, benefits and a decent 401k plan and in control of my own schedule. Uh, I would say I would just like, I would have to like, like what he was saying, I would, I would have to like, like what I was trying to sell to. Like I would have to be able to relate to the product. I wouldn't want to like sell, that would, that would just come into it. I wouldn't want to sell something that I didn't believe in or that I had a hard time talking people into so it's not just it's not just money wise okay. for me it would be like I would have to like like the job too anyone else feels yeah. There's, yeah there's some there's some sales yeah. jobs that couldn't pay me enough they yeah. do but I mean there's some that if it was a really cool product so I could get enthusiastic about it and it was a cool demographic of people I was going to go out and talk to that I could relate to then you know the salary and the, the pay and the compensation would have to be a lot less I kind of disagree a little bit like I think in this economy I'm going to be like glad to get any sort of job so I mean 
I think starting out just selling whatever and then like once you get experience then I think you can kind of like pinpoint what exactly you want to sell and go from there but yeah I'm not too picky about the salary the perspective of it I think if you just have good fringe benefits and you have a good vacation time you can spend time with your family and stuff that's the most important thing and you're having a fun time while you're doing it I think that's what would motivate me to be a salesman View this position as as an entry level. Do you guys view this specific position as an entry level position or a career that you would think that you would work towards? Mm -hmm. Sales, in general, general, professional or? sales. Professional sales could be either or. Depends on what you're selling. You could be selling something very big and make a lot of money with it and be huge with it, or you could, you know, sell Comcast boxes or something. Guys, um, my supervisor just stopped by. Um, I don't mean to be mean or anything, but you guys can't have food in here. Okay, it's Let's all gone. We'll, we'll, we'll so clean it up. Thank you. Yeah. Are you good? Yeah.